YouTube has totally changed the face of entertainment worldwide and created some huge stars along the way. It seems so simple, right? Just record yourself doing something cool, post it online, and next thing you know, you're in YouTube Rewind, right? Well, there's actually a lot more hard work that goes into being a YouTuber, but the rewards can be incredible. Some of the richest new celebrities from the past decade have come from YouTube, but just how much do the biggest YouTubers make? Today I've put together a list of some of the highest earning YouTubers around right now. And keep in mind that these numbers are based on ad revenue alone, as most big YouTubers sell merch, do brand deals, and way more. That being said, let's get it on. KSI KSI is one of the biggest YouTubers to come out of England, with a respectable 20 plus million subscribers. He made a name for himself through FIFA videos and rap music, having actually worked with some big names in UK hip hop. Along the way, he picked up vlogging, and even had a boxing match with American YouTuber Logan Paul, earning an estimated $11 million. With money like that, it's no wonder KSI casually bought a gold iPhone 10 while walking around a mall in Dubai coming in at a cool $40,000. But that's chump change compared to some of the massive purchases this UK YouTuber has made. In March of 2019, KSI unveiled his $500,000 custom-made chain modeled after the Dragon Ball Super character, Beerus. The chain contains over 2,000 stones. It took 550 hours of craftsmanship to make by one of the best jewelers in London. According to Social Blade, between his two channels, KSI likely makes between $1.2 and $3.2 million annually. Sure is a long way to come from recording yourself playing FIFA. <laughs> Logan Paul Probably one of the most controversial YouTubers in the world, or ex-controversial as he now claims. Just so you know, I, I am an ex-controversial YouTuber. That's no, yeah, that's no longer me. Logan Paul turned his success on the now defunct app Vine into a YouTube empire before the age of 22. YouTube? Is that you? Between starring in movies, hosting a YouTuber Olympics, having the number one podcast in the world, and the largest non-professional boxing match in history, Logan has proven himself to be an incredibly resourceful businessman, and his hard work has more than paid off. The American YouTuber lives in a gorgeous $6.6 .6 million mansion in Encino, California, with seven bedrooms, a full gym, and a huge podcasting studio inside. Welcome back to Impulsive, the number one one podcast in the world. Logan also put $225,000 into converting a regular old yellow school bus into his signature cool bus. While he obviously has a ton of money coming in from brand deals, touring, and his hugely popular Maverick merch, Logan Paul's channel likely brings in between $666,000 and $1.8 million a year. Not bad for a kid from Ohio. Jake Paul from Disney Channel to YouTube multimillionaire. Some problems are solved, but my run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. The younger brother of Logan Paul, Jake Paul, made a name for himself and was able to break out from his older brother's shadow. Jake's channel grew from nothing to 5 million subscribers in a matter of six months, a feat which, at the time, had never been done before, as he likes to remind people in his infamous song, It's Every Day, Bro. It's Every day, bro, with the Disney Channel flow. The hugely popular documentary series made by Shane Dawson on the young American YouTuber shows that he's branched out from YouTube into getting paid the big bucks to do speaking engagements at massive business conventions around the world. Combine that with his hugely popular music career and wildly successful merch lines. Bye -bye. March. And Jake Paul is definitely pulling in the big bucks. Jake has a liking for buying nice cars, such as his $132,000 Tesla Model X and $350,000 Lamborghini Huracan being the crown jewels on his prize collection. While most of his money comes in through his merch line, his 19 plus million subscriber YouTube channel grosses between 1.3 and $3.4 million a year. Who's the big brother now? Jack Septic Eye. Imagine going from being a sub 1K YouTube channel to one of the three most well known gaming channels on the planet. Well, thanks largely in part to an incredibly short shout out from PewDiePie, that's exactly what Jacksepticeye was able to do. I just got mentioned in a PewDiePie video. Holy. 
The Irish YouTuber has amassed a massive audience of nearly 23 million subscribers and counting, frequently collaborating with the other big gamers of the famous trio, Markiplier and PewDiePie. The generous Irishman doesn't like to spend his money to flex and prefers to use his influence to raise money for various charities, raising millions of dollars over the years for causes like mental health awareness, providing clean water to third world countries, and famously raising $225,000 for the American Foundation for Suicide suicide prevention during a single 8-hour charity livestream. His YouTube channel earns an estimated 3 to 8 million dollars a year from ads alone. That's money that's being put towards a whole lot of good in this world. Dan TDM the second Brit to make our list, Dan TDM has become a pillar of YouTube since starting his channel way back in 2012. Against all odds, the English gamer has managed to captivate audiences for years, consistently pulling in millions of views with every new upload and garnering an audience of over 21 million. Back in 2014, Business Insider did a piece on Dan and estimated that he earns between 213,000 and 21,300,000 annually. That's a pretty big risk range for a guess. However, today our most accurate data shows that the British gamer brings in between 3.4 and 9.1 million dollars annually from his YouTube channel alone. If you take into account his merch lines and brand deals, it looks like Business Insider wasn't too far off. David Dobrik have you ever wanted to be friends with the characters from your favorite TV shows? Well, David Dobrik made that dream a reality, becoming best friends with Josh Peck from Drake and Josh. Of course, that's no surprise considering how charismatic and likable the Slovakian vlogger is, and his respectable 13.8 million subscriber channel proves it. Dobrik lives in a $2.5 million mansion in Los Angeles, which he says is not too big, not too small, not too modern, and not too old perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Except for that price tag, of course. I like that a lot. David doesn't just use his millions to spoil himself, though, and famously prefers to spend it to make his friends happy, and of course then record their reactions and post them on YouTube in order to make it back. Whose is that? Yours. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy so far, he's bought 15 of his friends' brand new cars, with the help of some sponsors, as well as highly sought-after Hamilton tickets, which honestly might be worth more than some of those cars. His channel brings in between $4.8 and $13 million a year. All in all, Dobrik is living proof that dreams definitely do come true. Dude Perfect Okay, so this one isn't so much a YouTuber as it is a team of YouTubers, but... <laughs> Trust me, they've definitely earned a spot on this list. Famous for their insane trick shots and crazy sporting feats, it's no wonder that the group of old college roommates from Texas were able to win over the hearts and minds of the entire world when they first broke out on the YouTube scene. With a current subscriber base of over 45 million, Dude Perfect is one of the largest YouTube channels on the planet. The team has also ventured outside YouTube and have their own show, eponymously named The Dude Perfect Show on Nickelodeon and CMT, which has been running since 2016, the group purchased a massive 35,000 square foot warehouse in Frisco, Texas, something you could never find in the YouTube mecca that is LA back in 2016, and are able to use the space to create some of their craziest tricks yet. I guess everything really is bigger in Texas, but from their huge channel alone, the group breaks in between 5 and 13.2 million dollars a year. Even split five ways, that's a lot of money. Ninja While not making a name for himself on YouTube, the famous streamer Ninja definitely makes a huge impact on the platform. Originally starting as a gaming streamer on Twitch, his YouTube channel is home to the highlights of his gaming career and life. and holds an impressive 22.8 million subscribers. Arguably the most famous celebrity to come from the internet, Ninja was the first esports contender to ever be featured on the cover of Sports Illustrated magazine. He's done brand deals with massive companies like Epic Games, Samsung, Uber, Adidas, and Microsoft, with each deal netting him millions of dollars. In stream donations alone, Ninja earns over $250,000 a month and maintains live audiences of hundreds of 
of thousands at a time. And the highlight reel that is his YouTube channel brings in a passive half a million to $1.3 million a year. In 2019, Ninja made a deal with Microsoft to leave Twitch and start streaming exclusively on their debut streaming platform, Mixer, earning him somewhere in the ballpark of $100 million. Just imagine how many V-Bucks you could buy with that. Mr. Beast Currently one of the most famous names on YouTube, Mr. Beast exploded onto the YouTube scene by giving away thousands of dollars to random streamers, $35,000 donation says Unreal, and spending huge amounts of money to set insane world records, such as Ubering all the way across the country. Originally uploading for years to almost no views, the North Carolina-born YouTuber struck it big in 2017 when some smart investments in cryptocurrency made him an overnight millionaire. Instead of spending the money on himself, however, Mr. Beast found more joy in giving it all away. Last person to leave this pit of money wins $20,000. And within nine months, had given away well over a million dollars. He frequently goes around the country surprising people with random donations of thousands of dollars or challenging them to 24-hour challenges to win tens of thousands. And that's on the lower end. In 2019, he opened up a free car dealership and gave away 15 cars to unsuspecting shoppers. I bought every single car at a car dealership. Opened up a store where he sold items like TVs and gaming systems for the low, low price of free. We are opening the world's first free store. Played every carnival game at the largest Six Flags in America until he had won every single prize, only to give them all right back. Me and the boys are going to win every single prize at one of the largest theme parks in America. And gave his younger brother 24 hours to spend $100,000. We have $100,000 in credit cards right here. You have 24 hours to spend the 100000 Let's go, guys, let's go! And that's just scratching the surface. Mr. Beast earns most of his money, or rather the money he gives away from merch sales and brand deals, as well as the revenue he makes from views on his videos. He regularly pulls in tens of millions of views per video and has so far amassed an audience of over 24 million subscribers. Because of these huge numbers, his channel alone earns around $6.2 to $17 million a year. That's a whole lot of last person to leave challenges right there. Maybe Chandler will finally win some. PewDiePie. Oh, did you think we forgot the king of YouTube? It is me. Felix Shelberg, also known as PewDiePie, has held the spot of most subscribed to YouTuber for more than half a decade. I don't count corporations. In one amazing week in August 2019, <laughs> Ender Dragon, <laughs> Marriage. <laughs> PewDiePie became the first person to pass 100 million subscribers, married his longtime girlfriend Marzia, and beat the Ender Dragon in Minecraft. Yeah! A game which he single handedly brought back into the limelight after years of being seen as a niche kids game. Along the way, the money and fame really haven't changed Felix much, as he lives in a humble house in Brighton, England, and drives an average car. But staying a down to earth and relatable guy has been the key to his success for so many years. He does treat himself and Marzia to frequent vacations to places like Japan and Thailand, where he spent his amazing honeymoon, and he's found an interest in designer clothes. Add to that his incredibly popular and constantly changing line of merch, and it's no wonder that this Swedish YouTuber called an estimate of his net worth of $40 million a little low in his 2019 video where he Googled himself. His net worth to $68 million. It's very old data, isn't it? Each of Felix's videos pulls in millions of views, and he's free frequently at the top of the trending page, although not so much in America for some reason. What? 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 The PewDiePie YouTube channel rakes in a whopping $10.5 to $28 million a year. Felix has definitely earned it. Psst. Hey, you still there? Well, since you made it this far, here are all the shoutouts we promised everyone that commented on our previous video. If you want to be shouted out in our next upcoming video as well as the ones prior, just make sure you're subscribed to the channel and leave a comment down below saying, pick me. Once you're at it, you might as well leave a like too. So there you have it, the 10 highest earning YouTubers around. Who are some of your favorite YouTubers? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.